women recruits are joining the Omaha Police and Omaha Fire Departments. That's the finding from the last few years. This year, Omaha Police saw its largest female recruit class in history, and Omaha Fire boasts its first female chief. KETV News Watch 7's Jessica Perez spoke with both departments about how they are working to attract more women. Eleven women proudly stand among Omaha Police's most recent recruits, the largest group of female recruits the department's ever seen, each woman with her own reason for joining. Father being in and out of prison and just being in a high gang populated area and I just wanted to make a difference within myself and not have a like stigma around my life. Samantha Segura Veliz felt nervous entering a male dominated field, but she found it reassuring seeing other women in her class, all coming from different backgrounds, like fellow recruit Sarah Feely. Safes like this one we purchased. You may recognize her from her time at KETV, covering investigative stories and anchoring. The iconic Rosie the Riveter. After spending a lot of time looking at what some of the, I guess, beginning stages of crime are in our community, I felt like I could put my skills to use here to try to either interrupt some of that, intervene when possible, or when the worst happens, investigate that. The department says it's committed to diversity. It's trying to attract people of color and women at events by putting out ads showing diverse people, even reaching out to mothers returning to the workforce. It's important to have um, all different kinds of people in the department. According to the Department of Justice, women are better at de-escalating situations and can offer comfort in stressful situations. You're often seen as a more caring person. There's studies that have proven that when women arrive on a scene, suspects change their behavior. The same is true for women in fire. Omaha Fire Chief Kathy Bossman remembers one experience where she gave comfort to a teen who'd been sexually assaulted. And she was very scared, very nervous, and looked around the room and saw you know, a room full of intimidating male firefighters, and then she made eye contact with me. She says in the last seven years, OFD has seen an increase in female applicants. Between 8 and 11.5 percent of applicants are women. This year, it was on the lower end of 8.3 percent. But we're really optimistic for the future based on a lot of the recruitment tools. One more time, Bobby. Get one more, one more. Senator Charles Miller helps with the department's recruiting efforts, visiting football games with his daughter, who sees herself in his shoes one day. When you get to them at a younger age, it gives them something to look forward to. Miller says about 28% of students who show interest in firefighting at schools he visits are girls. To change the narrative that law enforcement is male dominated, Miller says more women need to apply for these positions. If you guys come out and apply and show the need that we need women on the department and show that you guys are willing to do it, that's when the um, nature of the job will change. Firefighter Jason Gentry mentors applicants and believes Bossman will play an important role in motivating young girls to pursue fire careers. She'll be more inspiring to my daughters than I will be because them being able to see a woman in that role lets them know that I can achieve that also. Omaha Police is accepting applications until October 28th, and Omaha Fire will open applications at the end of 2025. In Omaha, Jessica Perez, KTV News Watch 7.